The 16 of you are among the top unknown professional light heavyweights and middleweights in the country. Over the next 50 days, two legends in the world of mixed martial arts will be instrumental in deciding who wins the UFC contracts. I don't like losing anything, especially anything I think I'm good at. Down I just like to win. And here My boy Chris just starts getting hammered. I don't think he's going to settle down and uh, be doing morning prayers or, or yoga or anything like that. I'm not going to be drinking. I'm not going to be partying. I came to be, I'm going to stay focused, have a clear mind and a clear body, clear spirit. You know what? I tried it. You actually can't do it. Booze won't freeze. A mad man. <laughs> Maybe your nickname should be Popeye. Dude. <laughs> 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 it's all functional, you're good to go. You talking about horn? Who are you talking about? <laughs> this muffin, this frozen Snickers, and that's all I need. This is this Slim Jim, and this muffin, and this frozen Snickers, and I'm going to bed. <laughs> Chris was up yelling, doing this, doing that. Drunk, making a total fool out of himself. Man, you should hop in the shower, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right Pokemon, now. did you shower yet? I'm going right now. <laughs> Chris Lieben uh, decides to uh, urinate on his pillow. <laughs> Is he coming? Couture didn't think that anybody would get through this thing today, and uh, Chris just forced his way through it and made it, which is very impressive. Very, very impressive. I mean, I had a plan to try to get everybody drunk so they'd be hung over today, but it backfired a little bit. You guys drinking last night? Get some bananas, get some Gatorade, something with some potassium in it. Avoid the beer. <laughs> Diego's a stud. He's a stud wrestler. Um, I like to throw a big leather, you know? Start mixing some big punches in and mix and it'll change the game completely. The, the guys are pretty cool. It's a shame I'm gonna have to try to bludgeon them. Fight! He stayed away, he ducked my punches. He didn't even work to pass my guard. He didn't do anything at all. Oh, I'm gonna put him to sleep. You guys, take it easy. Lots of power, both you guys. Let's go. I'm going to pick Chris Levin. As far as fighting goes, there's not a single person that can even come close to beating me. Diego Sanchez. I'm the bastard is my hands are rubbed all wet. Hey, it'll dry. You're an inconsiderate bastard. Now, if you're going to be doing this for eight weeks, we need to find a solution. Man, give me a break. You are a P.I.G. pig. Man. Stephen Bonner and Diego Sanchez are in a confrontation with each other over asparagus heads. Yeah, I have been known to provoke him. That's the only way to bring it to his attention. No more playing stupid. You know what asparagus is. I do know what asparagus is now. He's like, you gotta listen to me. And I'm like, you know, I'm not listening. And I was like, you're gonna make me listen. You know, what's up? There's two platforms, one for each team. One team member will sit in the recliner while the rest of you carry him through the obstacle course. Come on, bro! Relax, guys! You got it! Make it just as fun! They're worried about what's going to take place tomorrow and how they're going to do tomorrow. And they're preparing for the future, dude. They don't live for the now. Apparently, Diego Sanchez is doing some kind of uh, yoga bodybuilding pose down with uh, baby oil all over his body. Oh, man, you don't want to face this in the ring. That's just not my style, to be quite honest with you. Doesn't look like anybody on Chuck's team has skipped a meal in a while. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> well, I gotta pick on the fat kids. Today we were told, you guys are gonna be fighting. For free. <laughs> yeah. 15 seconds into the round, bang, you split open. You go home? For what? Does anybody here not want to fight? Did anybody come here 
thinking that they would not fight. Some of us thought we weren't going to fight till the fighters. That was my totally understanding totally as well. Do you want to be a fighter? That's, That's the question. That's why I'm here. It's not about living in a f-ing house. It's about do you want to be a fighter? And only you know that. Anybody who says they don't, I don't f-ing want you here. And I'll throw you the f-ing out of this gym so f-ing fast your head will spin. President of the UFC can't up. fire you up. I don't know who can. Yeah. <laughs> fired up. Are you fighters? Are you f-ing fighters? Pardon my speech. That's it, Twicky. Hand over hand. Here you go, Stephen. Dick. Right, Come on, Bobby. Take you to the house. <laughs> Since Bobby lost the challenge, he's got a day to cut weight for the fight. If he can't do it, he'll be sent home. I'm not going to f- kill myself. <laughs> What's the matter? F- you, man. Like, I got guys that f- rest in a co- college f- wrestling match. Mm-hmm. They'll f- cut their balls off. They'll f- pass out before they f- weigh in. That's why he never made it in the big time. That's why he never made it in the big time. He's got no heart. Bobby's cutting about 20 pounds in 24 hours. That's a lot of weight to cut. Bobby was very, very mentally weak in the sauna. It was wearing on him, and, and you could see it. Uh, at one point, Chuck had to, to hold the door shut. Sit up, Bobby. It's a mental, it's a mental game right now. Can he make the weight? You know? What's up, Bob? Okay. What are you doing? There's nothing to bitch about. You know you have to cut the weight. You know what you have to weigh in at. Okay, you're over. Let's see what, how much over you are. All right, you're about three pounds over. You have two hours to lose that or you cannot fight. Yeah, f- in there, man. Stay in there. Sit in there. Hang in there, Bobby. Okay, but hang in there. It was only two days, but it was an eternity of torment. I really didn't think that I could get through it. It was hell, pure hell. Bobby went out, followed instructions, went out, put him away. Great job. You know, we like Loden, and he's a cool guy. He trains hard, and, and uh, you know, we lost another person. This is this is three people already, so we're down to five. That sucks. I'm not sure why Stefan is so upset about it. He's my friend. He's the closest guy uh, I have here, and my roommate and uh, train partner, and, you know, I'm just going to miss him. Chuck, you trying to teach Josh some stand-up? He goes, trying. And I go, so does that mean he's going to try to stand up with me when we fight? He goes, not if he doesn't want to get hit by a chair when he comes back to the corner. <laughs> yeah, I love how it's like, hey, your day off. You get a day off to relax and face elimination. <laughs> What's up, guys? How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good. Good, thanks. You'll throw the medicine ball at the UFC boards. When you've knocked all of them down, you've completed the first leg. But when you throw the ball, you'll have to run, pick it up, take it back to the start line before you can throw it again. Bobby's uh, throwing at my face, you know, flawless victory and flexing his biceps and stuff. But I distinctly remember that, that last week his, his performance wasn't too flawless himself. We train to fight, right? We train every day to fight. We don't train to throw medicine balls. It's going to come down to us come Tuesday. And, you know, your couture training camp, it's came to an end, buddy. Well, that's the first complete sentence you've said since you've been here. <laughs> <laughs> to you, to you. Yeah. So in the cage. You got it. It's done. I'm going to have some bad dreams tonight. The only knee has deep down inside is just fear. If you hear some of the nonsense that comes out of his mouth, he sounds like he's punch drunk already. Probably not going to help matters once I land my hands on him. Work the strikes. Oh, got it. Got it. It's, got it. it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. So 
I did what I do best, took him down, passed his guard, mounted, punished him a little bit, and he gave me his back, so I choked him out. I do what I did best, put him to sleep. I'm gonna take you guys out tomorrow night. Oh, get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> They've been in the house for a month, so we figured we'll take them out to the Hard Rock. So hopefully these guys do the right thing and they'll have another opportunity to go out another night. We all have to drink equally. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, get booed! So we get back to the house, and now it's really obvious that people have had too much to drink. Pretty much everybody was drunk. I don't think there was a sober guy in the house. He drank a lot. We took a lot of shit. I know he drank a lot. Too much. <laughs> Jago, I'm with you. The aliens are coming Jago, to you. Line, <laughs> Jago, line your side. Yeah. Line your side. Yeah. I know. Line your side. Yeah. Don't Bobby. F***ing talk shit, you fatherless bastard. Just oh, shut that's your not cool. mouth. That's not cool, dude. Come on, man. You don't dig down deep and call someone horrible names and then have a sudden change of heart. Ooh, I made a mistake five minutes later. You called me up. I know what he called you. He called me a fatherless bastard, dude. And Bobby stepped over the line. And to call him a fatherless bastard whose father didn't even want to stay in his life is wrong. You just don't do that to someone. You don't understand. <coughs> I'm serious. No, I do understand. This is me. Call me a fatherless bastard. I want to kill him, mate. You don't sleep out here? Yeah. All right, I'm going to get your pillow and blankets blanket up. All right. Can I spray him with a water hose? <laughs> don't spray him with a water hose. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. All right. Let's go. All right. Let's go turn the water hose on. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, shoot. <laughs> shoot. Chris. Fuck. Oh, I'm back in here. It's the house. Man. Fuck this bitch. Chris, you're not gonna give your dreams up. You're such a bottom crawler. I went to sleep too, Nate. They started spraying a fucking hose on me. I know, guys. Yeah, that's what somebody just said. No, it's fucking over. Chris, I'll kill him in his fucking ass Stop. sleep. That son of a. Lucky for me. Lucky for you. I want to fight him in a fucking cage and saw this. You got the medics coming. Son of a. You. Josh, too. You know what? The show's over because I'll go to jail and live with that mother. <laughs> those bitches. <laughs> those <laughs> ass mother. I'm an instigator, you know, and I instigated it. And, you know, when you have a few cocktails, of course, you want to see how far you can push somebody to see what they're going to do next. Oh, I didn't tell them to punch the window. All of a sudden, I'm having this dream where God's like yelling at me, but it turns out it's not really God at all. It's Chris Liebman, and he's busted through my door. There are pieces of my door in my bed. It's not your sleeping bag. Somebody go tell me if the sleeping bag is even wet. That's all I have to say. He was out here sleeping? Alex, could you please close the door? Diego's trying to sleep. <laughs> Selfish fatherless bastard or something. I'm not the type of person that's going to just turn around and insult somebody for no reason. I think the worst is Bobby Salvatore. I've had it up to here with Bobby Salvatore. It seems like every time I'm in any kind of a group situation with him, he's got an attitude about something. Jesus Christ. Let me see. I'd fight with that. And squirt me with a nose. We're going to go try to wet the ground around him. We never actually got to the point of spraying water on him because Chris kind of woke up. He threatened my life and Bobby's life. He was already trying to stay away slip. from you guys. That's why he was out in the front yard sleeping because he was trying to get away from you guys. Right? Like we said, it was bad timing. It is true. I mean, he dishes it out a lot. That first week, you know, pissing in the bed and the whole thing, he was going to be held accountable. You're talking about a kid that had already gone and pissed on someone's bed. Don't father, this bastard. <laughs> It's, it's poor just, sense to go back out there and dump uh, a hose on him. You, you and leave and fight. Yes, sir. Am I with you? 
Wayne's Tuesday, fight Wednesday. It's on. It's the best thing you could have told me. Well, so far, you guys are letting me down. And everybody else down that's worked this far to get this sport where it is. It takes a lot more than just fighting in that cage to be a champion. You got to do what it takes outside of the cage. This isn't the number one nice guy show. This is the ultimate fighter. That's not good enough. Someone, <laughs> someone don't, 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 guys. Stop, stop, don't. Yeah. No, no, no. Ooh, that was decent. That was decent. Boredom is reached an all new high. <laughs> He's going f***ing nuts. He can't wait to fight. <laughs> Outside of the four hours a day that we train and the four hours a day that I eat because there's nothing else to do. So there's like eight hours in my day that are just laughing, just empty. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> 185. <laughs> I think if Chris comes in and fights with his head, he's got a good shot to win this thing. If he comes out and fights with his heart, he, he could lose. <laughs> it was ruled a unanimous decision for Josh Koscheck. <laughs> Next time, why you gonna hold me on the mat? You didn't hurt me at all. Hey, it's a win. Take your bus ticket right. home. I'm not done with you hey. yet, Josh. Yeah. I'm not done with you yet. Let's go. Yeah, Josh. Although conservative, a picture perfect game plan for Josh to execute. He doesn't have to risk getting hurt. He does just enough to win the fight and get the W. There's no doubt he's a tough, ballsy kid. He's probably one of the toughest kids in here. But mentally, he's very weak. And that's something that he's going to need to work on if he really wants to be one of the best fighters in the world. But don't be bummed out. Everybody gets around, and uh, we all talk about how evil and smelly he is and what nice sausage he has. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? This week, the light heavyweights are up for elimination. So, this is a light heavyweight challenge. It's called the ring. This is the ultimate tug of war. Yo, let's sit, guys. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Guys, would you guys give us a couple minutes? I don't really want to pet talk right now, please. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad, Javi. It's not too bad. It is too bad. When I went in the room after the fight, I was just going in to talk to him. And then he starts mouthing off to me about, you know, I don't need a pep talk. I'm not one of his buddies that he's hanging out with in the house. He ain't going to talk to me like that. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. It's my way and no other way. End of story, you know? Yeah, you did. I talked to you with respect the whole time. Pep talk. That's not disrespectful. It isn't right, disrespectful. Disrespectful would be telling you, get the f out of here, Dana. So why the f are you going to talk to me like that? I am sorry. All right, then. Okay. All right, can we do this like f yeah. adults? Yeah. F fly off the handle like you're bipolar. You know? The world isn't out to get you, dude. You left the, that fight in the judge's hands, and you can't ever do that. Hey, what's up? Cat smasher. What's up, buddy? <laughs> I'm back. Cat smasher! Hey. Congratulations! Oh, Congratulations. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh, oh
worked to get to where I am now, you know, I put in the work, I've done my battles, you know, people have seen me in action, you know, you can hit me and I'm not going down, you know, I'm gonna keep coming at you and I'm gonna get you. I've never been so strict on my diet, I've never been so strict on my yoga, I am not making no mistakes. Basically, Diego asked us to put saran wrap on him after he lubed himself up with all this oil. Um, I guess I felt kind of awkward doing it, but, uh, you know, Diego's out of control. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I don't know. It gives me energy. I know that there's a lot of electricity in the clouds and in the storm and energy, and that's what I'm all about. I'm the Zen master. Get to a side. And fight the choke. Diego went in, did exactly what he wanted to do. He punished Josh Rafferty. If you pick me to fight, you're gonna get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Watching go see 50 with uh, Chuck and Randy, you hear like their critiques. Yeah. What's up, dude? Woo, how about Tanner? Is that crazy? That was crazy. How about that? He was my Oh, what was that one second? Unbelievable, dude. The winning team not only gets to save their coach from being dunked, but gets to dunk the coach from the opposing team. Go, 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 go! Go! Cut it, cut it, cut it! Put it on Felt pretty good, and then I won, which was awesome. We had some supplements picked up for us. I dropped them right into my bag. Go upstairs, they're not in my bag, they're missing. See what's in this one? That's what I heard. Diego caught on today. How the heck do you got five beanies, dude? I got those from Richie's box inside his room. What do you know? He has five beanies. Three guys in the house are missing their beanies. Taking those back for the family, guys. That's why I grabbed them in the first place. I don't know if he stole them exactly from us per se, but they could be accounted for in Sam's bag. Go ahead and call you a thief. No, whoever, whoever is. No, because I think Koscheck here was the one who was saying it, weren't you? Yeah, I said it. So, hey, I'm just telling you, I don't appreciate that. Yeah. Stuff was just missing it around the house, and he, he said that you gave it to him. Nope. I've never given anybody permission to come to my office and take anything out of here, especially you fighters. Every time somebody badmouthed you, I said that's not right. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing shit that's not right, I'm going to say that ain't right. Guys, I've always been told it takes a man to admit when he's wrong, and I was wrong. I apologize for this mess that has happened because of my... Greediness? No, my... Yes. My, yeah, greediness. It was over after that. He started raining punches down on him. One eighty-two. One eighty-two. Now, yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Still one eighty-two. He's technically a better fighter than me, but I'll tell you one thing: I'm bigger, stronger, tougher, and sure as hell a lot meaner than him. Two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> eye line was lined up right with mine and right with my elbow and I threw um, a lateral elbow that landed right on his eyebrow. I've never thrown an elbow in an MMA fight. I've never had the, the uh, rules uh, in order to do that. Today Kenny Florian really rose to the occasion. He took Chris Lieben's best shots. Shots that have dropped people who fight at 205. All I can say is the guy has gonads the size of a bull. Kenny pulled it off, and, you know, he's the hero today, man. This is Kenny Florian's day, you know, and I'm stoked that, uh, you know, I don't have to see Lieben's fat head running around the house anymore, you know. I'm just glad that Lieben's gone again. <laughs>
Yeah. The forest that's fighting tomorrow is definitely not the same forest that fought Alex Schoenauer. He doesn't seem as anxious and, and as crazy as he was a few weeks ago. 206. He's definitely mentally drained. He's been on an emotional roller coaster now, and uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how he handles it in this fight tomorrow. Push the pace. He's starting to breathe. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yep. Thanks for playing. crumpled to the ground. Forrest came down on top of him and was starting to hit him with more shots to the head when they hit the ground. He's not intelligently defending himself. This this is not an intelligent defense. Stefan Bonner versus Mike Swick is, I think it's going to be a good fight. Size difference is phenomenal. But Mike Swick is a scrappy, tough guy. 192. Woohoo! Mike Swick, 192. No audience. Someone clap, please. Mike Swick, 192. Three shots! Three shots! Keep striking, man. Ten seconds. Let's go. They're going out off the fence. Get your head off the fence. Get your head off the fence. Stop right there. Stop it right there. And when he finally rolled him over and I could see Stefan's face and then I started hearing Stefan making the gurgle noises, I realized how tight it was and that he was very close to winning the fight. Stefan grabs onto it and gets him in an arm bar and starts to crank it. When you get caught in an arm bar by a big, strong guy like Stefan, you have to tap out, even if there's two seconds left, or you're going to have some serious damage done to your arm. Kenny Florian in the first bout. Kenny Florian. Diego Sanchez. Yeah! Takes on Diego Sanchez. Stefan Bonner. In the second bout. Stefan Bonner. Winner, Forrest Griffin. Goes head-to-head -head with Forrest Griffin. I can't wait to get back. I want to fight fight him again. I want to rematch. I thought I should have beat him the first time and it didn't work out for me. I'm ready to beat him this time. Uh, I can't wait. Florian being punished by Sanchez. Florian Southern. Steve Masagani is going to fight. It's all over. It is all over. Diego Sanchez is the ultimate fighter. For the winner by TKO, Diego Nightmare Sanchez. The crowd in here is just on its feet. Oh, uppercut just missed. Toe to toe they go. Oh, and a left hand. Yeah. Right hand by Bonner. And Florian oh. loves the takedown. This, oh, ladies short. and gentlemen, is the ultimate fighting championship. Five seconds. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Forrest Griffin! But first of all, one more second here. Frank, Lorenzo, and I have gotten together and we've decided there is no loser in this fight. And we're going to offer Stefan Bonner a six-figure contract with the UFC. All right, Chuck and Randy, you received your instructions in the locker room. Do I have any questions from you, Chuck? Any questions from you, Randy? Fight clean, fight hard. Let's have a good one. Randy might be hurt. Yeah, Randy might be hurt. Randy trying to close in, though, now. And oh, he, he goes down. Rocks. He's down. And Chuck Liddell. Oh, he is out. Right Chuck heavy heavyweight champion of the world. Randy Couture is Chuck out. Chuck Liddell is the light heavyweight champion.